It's day three of the search for Mariah Woods. Right now, dive teams are searching a pond off High Hill Road in Jacksonville. The pond is about three miles away from her family's Dawson Cabin Road home. The three year old girl was last seen at the house Sunday night. WNCT's Courtney Allen is live from Onslow County, where <laughs> officials held a press conference this afternoon. Courtney, what can you tell us? Shayla, I'm on Dawson Cabin Road in Onslow County right now, where we are now in night three of the search for Mariah Woods. Officials say they've conducted hundreds of interviews and pursued hundreds of leads, but as far as we know, still no sign of Mariah. They also say anybody who had contact with Mariah's family either Sunday or Monday, you need to contact law enforcement right away. However, they wouldn't disclose whether or not the family is the focus of their investigation. They say the best thing the community can do right now is to search their own property for anything that seems out of the ordinary. Because we are in a rural area, uh, it is fair to say we want to encompass all portions of this area. It's rural, it's going to include wooded, forest, and barn shed areas, any outbuilding structures uh, that are on uh, respective properties, please take an opportunity to search, uh, look through those areas as well. The family was all out here out here on day one of the search, but now on day three, really the only people we saw was law enforcement and other agencies assisting with the search, as well as concerned community members. Those people in the community tell us that many of them have children of their own, and this case hits a little too close to home for them. Live in Onslow County, Courtney Allen, nine on your side. Thank you so much, Courtney, and certainly Mariah's disappearance is getting a lot of attention from the community. Residents want to know what happened to the missing toddler. As Courtney mentioned, some of them are parents themselves, and as time passes, worry continues to grow. WNCT's Tamara Scott joins us tonight for a closer look at the impact. Tamara, what are you hearing on the ground? Shayla, many residents, they're scared, they're angry, but mostly they're concerned that poor Mariah won't ever come home. Now, just like many law enforcement of agencies out here, many community members have taken it upon themselves to conduct their own searches, some even attending the media presser to ask their own questions. Now, many are signing a sheet to be contacted when they can officially search with officials. Many volunteers have been out here all three days, and they say they will continue to be out here because they also have children at home. I would hope that if, if it was my children or my child, that everyone would do the same. There is also a Facebook page people have created specifically aimed at searching for Mariah. Now, each time that I ask someone, why spend your time out here? Tears flow. They're overwhelmed with emotion. For many of these people, they didn't even know Mariah existed three days ago, and now they won't rest until she's found. Live in Onslow County, Tamara Scott, 9 on your side. Thank you, Tamara. In just under an hour, a prayer vigil for Mariah is scheduled for 7 o'clock. It's happening at the Folkestone Original Free Will Baptist Church. The church is located at 133 Folkestone Road in Holly Ridge. The public is invited to attend. The Onslow County Sheriff's Office says a surveillance image recorded at a Moorhead City Walmart is not Mariah Woods. The clarification comes after the office circulated a photo of a woman and child seen at the store. Well, further investigation revealed the pair had no connection to the search for Mariah Woods. The child pictured is not the missing Jacksonville toddler. Officials say the public's assistance in this is appreciated, and those with tips or information should continue to report those details to law enforcement.